Hey everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel once again. This is Abhishek, your friend but not a financial advisor. And here we are once again with another Cassava Sciences stock update video. Because there's a lot going on with this particular company and I also read a lot of comments from my previous video and on other videos as well, please to give an update on Cassava Sciences. So I'm just trying to give you guys an update and I'm just trying to help you guys out with giving such updates. Again, this is not any kind of a financial advice, guys. This is just my personal opinion. And I'll be telling you what I am doing with this stock cassava sciences so let's just cut to the chase hey guys so here we are once again with another cassava sciences stock update video please don't think that this channel is just about cassava sciences stock and i am not going crazy for this particular company this is just because i promise you guys that as soon as i will get any valuable updates on cassava sciences stock i will update you guys and also i've been getting a lot of requests to bring up some updates on cassava sciences because it seems like many of you guys out there are panicking and this video is just to you know remove some stress from your shoulders and of course this is not any kind of a financial advice but this is just to give you guys my point of view which is quite positive to be honest and guys please remember that i am not like giving you a blind hope or something of course i'll be blunt and i will be honest to you guys if something is really wrong i will tell you guys that but in this case i don't see anything going wrong until now with cassava sciences so as we saw that cassava sciences plunged more than 10 to 12 percent and it ended up being down by minus 7 percent on friday the good thing about this is that yes it broke the 50 dollar support but just look at the day candle the daily candle the one day candle actually came back at $50. We'll get onto the technicals at the end of this video, but this, in my opinion, is quite positive. Okay, guys, so the next thing which I would like to cover is this official PR released by the CEO of Cassava Sciences on September 3rd. I would also put the link of this PR in the description down below, and you can also check it out on the official website of Cassava Sciences in the investors section. Now, I would not go through the complete PR of 12 pages. I would only be covering few important points, which in my opinion are quite important for all the retail investors out there and like all us retail investors also the ceo was actually dazed and confused when he read all the allegations and he says that after all we have been working slowly carefully patiently for over 10 years on the science and always in collaboration with a wide range of stakeholders including academic advisors non-clinical sites clinical sites the nih the fda peer-reviewed journal publications and of course we the investing public and after 10 plus years of effort we are finally on the verge of initiating a pivotal phase 3 program and then this happens this is of course disheartening guys these short sellers are everywhere guys and they are known for attacking some genuine companies as well now i'm not saying that all these short seller reports are always wrong like for example in case of nikola motors i actually appreciated this short seller report because that actually bought an insight for us retail investors to get out at the right time yeah but in case of sava guys just have a look at the logical answers which are provided by the ceo for all these allegations in case of nikola motors such pr from any employee or the ceo of nikola motors were not given out and all the allegations were quite logical and but the answers from the ceo of nikola motors were quite shady you know so in case of Sava, I do think that they are quite genuine and Nikola Motors just came out a year or two years ago, but Sava is there for more than 10 years. And he also says that, let me tell you what I think about these allegations. They are not just false, but they're also misleading. As a science organization, we conduct experiments that generate data. We do not invest stuff out of thin air. Needless to say, we intend to vigorously defend ourselves and our stakeholders against false and misleading allegations, which they are doing quite well. This is an enormous profit motive at work. As previously noted, after the allegations were made, or let's say the damage was done, the law firm issued a press release admitting its anonymous clients hold short positions in cassava stock okay guys so just let me show you this piece of information so short interest which was at a near record of 5.98 million shares at the end of january dropped by 56 percent to 2.62 million shares as of mid-february because of good positive data and positive catalyst and we know that what happened so the stock price spiked higher and therefore the short sellers had to close their positions to of course not get into more loss just remember this point okay 
And now the short percentage has again rose to 5.4 million shares, which is approximately 13.9% of the total float volume. And just to give you guys a comparison, the GameStop short percentage was around 11.5% and AMC was 17.4% when these stocks spiked higher. So just think about this guys, this is unnatural. This has nothing to do with the company, okay? This drop in the stock price is just and just because of the short sellers. The short percentage is increasing. But remember this point that after January, it dropped by 56%. Previously also it was pretty high, but then it dropped. Why? Because of positive catalyst. So what we need again, another really good positive catalyst and a good spike in the volume. And trust me guys, these short sellers will get burned. So it's just a matter of patience. It's just a matter of time. You just have to be patient. You just got to be patient. And if you believe in the company, this unnatural movement in the stock price should really not matter. In fact, you should take this as an opportunity. And like what I'm doing, I'm just grabbing up some more shares and I'm keeping some more money aside in case if it breaks the $50 support level and I will be ready to grab on some more shares. But that's just my personal opinion, guys. I'm not asking you to sell or buy this stock. This is just my personal opinion, okay? And then he states also some nice facts about this citizen's petition, which was filed by this law firm and was sent to the FDA. And he considered this citizen's petition quite meaningless because any citizen can write to the FDA and complain about a drug. And of course, there are not any special requirements that citizen's petition has to be accurate or even truthful pretty much anything goes yeah and there's a lot of literature around abuse of the citizens petitions privilege as well also the citizens petition is typically filed against an approved drug or a drug candidate that is up for fda approval and their drug candidate in alzheimer's disease fits neither of those two categories personally I have never heard of a citizen's petition against a drug candidate that has not yet entered phase three and that has demonstrated a clean safety profile in an elderly frail population. In an event, FDA has up to 550 days to take a final action on a citizen's petition and the CEO says he thinks the citizen's petition is meaningless and he hopes FDA responds sooner rather than later. So yes, we also have to consider this fact that FDA has 150 days to respond to this citizen's petition and guys, remember, as soon as the FDA responses, this could be our big catalyst. Now, I'm not saying that the FDA response would be 100% positive, but there's 90% chance out there that FDA's reply would be quite positive. And of course, like I said, if you believe in the company, then only stick with it, okay? If not, then you should have been out way before, okay? But I am sticking with this company and I'm waiting for this catalyst as well to shut those mouths out there who are literally just piling up all the garbage and spreading all the garbage, all those short sellers and to make us retail investors look like fools. But in the end, we will win. I'm quite sure.